Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you things that I've purchased from Amazon in my master suite. I have a lot of really fantastic elements woven throughout this bedroom. Things that I found over the last few years, things that are currently still available if you see something that you'd like to pick up. I did start an Amazon storefront, so I will leave that link in the description box. You just click on that and everything I speak about today will be there for you to shop from. I have found some things that have really elevated my bedroom. I've kind of evolved here through the years. I've tried all different kinds of styles. It's kind of like a new shirt. You try it on, does this really fit? Is this really me? But I think I've kind of settled into my element. What I'm really loving these days is rustic. I love elements of wood mixed with metals, mixed with pottery really loving soft fabrications, natural materials, a very calm, neutral palette. I've kind of found throughout the years that keeping your palette neutral, not only does it kind of elevate your space, give that luxury feel and quality to the room, but it also gives you room to play with color in the seasons should you want to. Swap out a throw pillow here, throw in a blanket, a pop of color here for spring or summer. And so I've kind of, sunk into my groove of neutral tones. It really calms the space. It makes me feel some sort of way when I walk into my room. It's a romantic feeling. And then of course, because it's neutral, when it comes Christmas time or fall, I can easily swap things out and it doesn't really disturb the whole vibe of the whole room. If there's one thing that can really elevate your space and just kind of change up the entire room, it's your bedding. I have been lusting after a pair of linen sheets for quite some time. I purchased this set on Amazon and I have to tell you, I'm very much impressed. So a little bit about linen sheets. They are a fabrication that you're gonna want during the warmer months when it's really warm outside because they help keep your body cool. They help keep when you're sleeping, it wicks away the moisture from your skin. So in the summertime, I really struggle with finding a sheet that's gonna keep me cool. Linen is going to be your best friend. I love the texture that linen adds to the space. I love the natural quality of it. I love that it's kind of undone. I find something very romantic about just an all natural material. I don't know what it is, but it just really sucks my eyes in. I feel like it adds that luxurious quality. Linen adds a lot of texture to your space and a lot of interest to the room. I did a lot of research on Amazon and other websites about linen sheets and you can pay a lot of money for a set of sheets. So I opted to go with these ones from Amazon because the price was right. They had really great reviews. And now here's my review. I have had these sheets for a few months now. I washed them before I put them on because they're gonna come and they're gonna be stiff. It, that's just the way linen is. You're gonna think, oh, these are scratchy and I'm not gonna enjoy this. Trust me, you will. Wash them before you put them on your bed and with every consecutive wash thereafter, they become softer. While we're still talking about the bed, I shared these blankets in a previous Amazon video, but you guys, these are fabulous blankets. I now own five of them. I even bought a couple different colors for my children's bedrooms. They are a nice lightweight fabrication for summertime. I believe they're 100% cotton which makes them incredibly breathable. I love the weaving on that. I Once again, I'm really big on texture. I love the interest of the blanket. It's not just a plain blanket. It holds up well. I've washed these several times, several times. In fact, I can attest to these blankets being fabulous for warmer months because when we were living in Texas, we couldn't use anything other than a flat sheet and this exact white or lightweight blanket because it was just way too hot. I mean, most nights we were just kicking off all of the bedding and my husband's like, we need something lighter. So I found these blankets on Amazon. I think they are gorgeous and they're so functional, so practical. They come in a lot of different colors. And once again, the price point on these is fabulous. Here's a close up of the one that is not on my bed. And this is a little bit different of a pattern. The one that's on my bed is just simply a waffle weave. And then this particular one I think is really, really pretty. It's just a gorgeous weave. I bought this one for my children as well in a gray color and a pink color. Uh, this one I believe is called um, Light Khaki. I will list everything below. I know that the one on my bed is more of a deeper beige in tone and this is indeed a lighter khaki color. The next simple way to really jazz up your bedroom is to swap out your pillow covers. And if you don't have pillow covers and you just have, you know, like pillows that already have a design on them, that's fine, you can swap those out too. But if I could recommend anything from experience, it would be to, I quit 
buying pillows that already were sewed together, meaning the cover was on the pillow and you could there was no cover to take off and wash or anything. It was all in one deal. So when you were tired of the pillow or it got worn out, you had to throw away the whole thing. So if I could re recommend anything, it would be to kind of switch over to having pillow inserts and then buying covers. That way you're not committing to that same pillow for life. You can swap out the covers, you can take the covers off if something gets spilled on them and wash them, and you just get a lot more bang for your buck by going about decorating your bedroom or your couch or what have you in that way. So I am loving these covers. I have these in black, I have these in cream, I have another color down on my couch, which we will share downstairs in a next the next video. But these are wonderful and they I think they're a two pack for like $20. That is a great price. In fact, you couldn't even buy two pillows for $20 nowadays. So I'm gonna link the inserts that I have. I'll link a couple. There's a little better quality one that I bought and then there's more of like a, a good one, but less awesome, if that makes sense. Just a little bit more affordable. I like both for different reasons. Um, but I know we are all on different budgets and different price points, so I like to give you guys options. This particular cover is velvet, and velvet is another fabrication that I am smitten with. I jumped on that train in my last house, and I totally understand why you wanna have a little bit of velvet in your space, because between linen and velvet, it just feels luxurious without the expensive price point, which is crazy to me because these are really good quality. And I will tell you, I bought some custom made uh, pillow covers on Etsy and they were shipped to me from Turkey. I actually think these Amazon ones are just as good and I think they were about a quarter of the price. Here's what the black looks like. This is the lumbar style pillow and insert. Of course, you can decorate your bed however you like, different styles of pillows, but I kind of like the three, two, one method um, where you have the three taller and then the two and then the one in the center. Just gonna pan you over a little bit here. The curtains that I have in my bedroom are actually the exact curtain that I have on every window in my house because that's how much I love the curtain. It is versatile. I've had this style curtain since 2016 when I moved into our house in Texas. I just kept buying them. Of course, when you move, you have different style windows and what have you, so I've had to buy different lengths. But this is a beautiful, natural linen. Actually, I think it's got some flax in it too, but it looks like linen and you can wash them. And they add so much natural, once again, it's that the words I'm using over and over on repeat, like that natural, romantic, simple, goes with everything type of look. The curtain itself has a lot of beautiful texture in it, but yet it's it's subdued, it's, it's minimal. It's a style curtain that I believe will go with a lot of different style homes. Now in this bedroom, I just hung them straight on the rod, but downstairs I have curtain rings that I attach to them. And you can hang your curtains however you want. I just kind of decided to change it up in this space. I will also link the rods that I have because those are the same rods throughout my entire house. I decided to just kind of streamline my whole home and once I find something that I like, I just keep purchasing it over and over and over again. And this is just a simple black rod. I do believe it also comes in nickel and maybe a bronze color, but it's a really good quality rod. And I love the shape of it too. It's a nice uh, square shape that will go with once again a variety of styles in your home. Now over in this corner of the room I have this beautiful chair. I bought this chair actually off of Amazon in 2021 and it is by the brand Stone and Beam on Amazon. I believe that's one of their in-house brands and it was kind of one of those shot in the dark things where I was looking on let's see Ashley Furniture, Rooms to Go, like a bunch of local different furniture stores because I needed an accent chair. This used to be in my living room in my other house. And I wanted something that was really great quality and had the aesthetic that I was looking for. I wanted it to be big enough for my husband to sit comfortably in it, but also me. And this ended up being a beautiful chair. Now I've ordered furniture blindly before, but not from Amazon. And so this was my first experience and this brand is great quality. I was very pleased when it arrived. In fact, I actually was shocked at how much deeper the seat was than a lot of other quote unquote accent chairs. They, they typically tend to be kind of small, made more for maybe a woman and not so much, you know, a big burly tall man like my husband. Well, he ain't burly, but he's a tall man. And so this exact 
style is not in available. I checked this morning, but this the Stone and Bean brand still makes a very similar chair style, and I just wanted to recommend that brand to you. Period, because in my experience, I've had this chair for a year and a half now. We sit in it every single day. That's my morning coffee chair. It was in my other house. It still is in this house, except now it's in my bedroom, which I love having an accent chair in a bedroom. Highly recommend that. That's like my little reading nook, but it is a beautiful chair. A bedroom needs candles, and candles are something that I prefer to smell and then purchase. However, there's a few candles here that I just blindly ordered. <laughs> I was like, I hope these are gonna be good. I hope they're gonna burn well. I do rely quite heavily on Amazon reviews. I read a lot of reviews. I should probably leave some more myself. But this candle I purchased because I was reading about the company and this company, Lulu Candles, uh, in their biography section, it said that they used to work for a high-end luxury company making candles. And I can only assume something along the lines of like Jo Malone or um, what's that other bougie brand? I'll put it on the screen. Um, and so I just was like, you know what? I trust this. I trust that the scents are going to be really great. I trust the quality. And so I ordered it. So it's by the brand Lulu Candles. It looks like this. This is a soy candle. So soy is gonna burn a lot slower than say your Bath and Body Works candles, which by the way, I'm kind of pulling back from them a little bit because my most recent ones burned up so quickly. Like I can't even believe how quickly they burned up. And so I am loving the soy life right now. They're lasting me a lot longer. Yeah, they might cost a little bit more, but if it burns longer, like it makes more sense, right? So this is the scent Pineapple Evergreen. I wanted something kind of fruity and fun because I actually have this in our living room. Well, it's our garage <laughs> that we converted to a second living room and it's where we spend a lot of time watching movies and playing games and stuff. And so I wanted something that's kind of fun and fruity. And this Pineapple Evergreen is really different. I'd say it's a little heavier on the pineapple than the evergreen. It's a departure from what I normally go to, which is those central, uh, deep, rich, uh, earthy type scents, but I do recommend this scent. And I'm actually gonna order the jasmine and oud, I think it is, scent next, because I, I it's, it's a black jar with a white label, but I wanted to share that candle. Should I pick up a burning candle? Probably not. The next brand that I hear a lot of buzz about, this one's currently burning, y'all be careful, is this Candlefish brand. And these are hand poured in Charleston, South Carolina. And I actually got to speak with one of the ladies that works at the company because when I first ordered this, it arrived shattered. And so I took the glass off and that's what this is right here. And so it was great customer service. They immediately sent me another one, no charge, no work, nothing. And I wanted to share this brand because they have like, Oh my gosh, I want to say like a hundred cents to choose from, like a lot of cents. This particular one is number 83, and I'll put the notes on the screen, but it's a great bedroom scent. It's very calm, it's very sensual, it's very romantic. However, I do recommend this candle as well. This is also soy. It is a smaller business. I like to support smaller businesses. So because this one broke, I have it in a pillar style and I bought this cute little tray on Amazon and I actually only burn this when I take a bath. And so I set this on top of this tray. It permeates the entire bathroom. The Candlefish candles really permeate a space and so does the Lulu. And that's why I'm recommending both of them because I'm a candle connoisseur. I buy and burn a lot of candles and I will only recommend something that has a great throw um, and also burns well and it's just kind of a nice little thing to have around. Even if you don't wanna put a candle on it to put your rings on or to put your earrings on, uh, just like cute little dishes are another way to kind of elevate your space, but also add an element of practicality. I'm smitten with the whole rustic luxury feel to my bedroom. I think it's so romantic. And how I'm adding those elements, as we already spoke about through the linen sheets and the velvet pillow covers, you know, candles, Another thing that I think really adds that earthiness is marble. And so I picked up this beautiful marble tray and 
I currently have my perfumes displayed on this, but you can use this for a variety of things. I've also used it to put makeup on or to set my rings on when I'm doing my makeup, uh, jewelry, organizing your bathroom, put it in your bathroom for some toiletries or whatever. It's just really pretty. This particular brand is called War. W-O-R-H-E. I've actually bought a few other things from this brand. I got some candle holders I'll show you in another video. Um, and I, I bought another tray for my kitchen. And this is a real marble. It's not plastic. There are a lot of like plasticky looking ones or faux marble on Amazon, but this is real marble. I actually got this on a really good price. So another tip I can tell you from Amazon is that add things to your wish list and then just Check your wish list every day because they'll drop the prices on things. It is absolutely stunning, beautiful little piece. Great way to organize and store your beautiful things without taking away from the beauty of perhaps the things or the item. Another practical item that I need in my bedroom are coasters. Uh, we have tea every evening and I drink my coffee up here and drinks and snacks in bed. And, and so having some coasters. So this is two of a set of six and every one is unique. These are marble, real marble. They come with the soft thing on the bottom so you don't have to worry about it scratching your surface. So every one is a little bit different. I guess I could grab all six to show you, but you understand that when you cut a piece of rock, <laughs> the, the variegation is going to differ from coaster to coaster, but these are beautiful. I love the geometric pattern as well. I try to vary my shapes within my space so not everything is round or everything is square. I think it adds interest to have different things. And so this beautiful set of real marble coasters is another recommendation. I just think they're so pretty. So elevating your space is just kind of thinking about ways you use it and then streamlining it or elevating that particular element. So an example of that is, sure, I could keep a lighter in here. It would be the same lighter I used to start my grill. That don't look so cute laying around. Or I could get a cute little pot of matches. You guys, this is so precious. This particular one is handmade. I like to find really small companies or just things that are more unique, more handmade and buy from those sellers. So this is a seller on Amazon that hand makes these gorgeous little pots. And you can choose to order it without the matchsticks or with the matchsticks. And then on the bottom is the striker right here. And then you can order refills of these. They did have black matches, which would also be really elegant, but I decided to just go with the light color. But instead of having that lighter, just get yourself one of these and then you just take the match out and you just strike it on here and you light your candle. And this you can set right next to your candle and it just looks so cute. Before we move to the bathroom items, I have a couple books that I want to share with you. Decor books. Decor books are one of those things that absolutely make your space look high-end. Leaf through any magazine, leaf through any post online, and they all have like professionally designed spaces or like a store, you know, magazine or whatever. They always have decor books. And decor books look great, but they're also a source of inspiration. Like I love to look at decor books and get inspired on how to, not necessarily go out and buy a bunch of stuff, but how to arrange the things I already have or what to look for when arranging things. And there's a lot of useful information and I just really love books in general. I'm a reader at heart. And so a couple that I have in my space up here right now, this one is by Jenny Kane, Pacific Natural. This is a beautiful, more natural-minded uh, designer. She does a lot of very neutral tones. I mean, th the spaces are just so inspiring to me. I sometimes take the dust covers off of my books, especially if the book has a really pretty uh, binding, and a lot of these do. Oh, it's so white, you can't see. <laughs> it's white on white, it's very elegant. But, you know, our nice quality books uh, really add a lot to the space. And then the other one that I really like is called The White Company and it's called The Art of Living with White. Obviously you get the gist, it's a very natural, neutral palette. That might not be your thing, that's fine. Find a book that is your thing. Find a home decor book that inspires you, that you just sit down and you page through and it just brings you 
so much, so many ideas, you know, and in that moment, you're going to be so inspired. And that, look at that, that is just so pretty. So I like to buy books that match my space and then I display them in the room in which they match. I have a lot of home decor books. I was thinking about doing an entire video dedicated to that, but in the meantime, if you go to my Amazon storefront, you can see in my decor book section, all of the books, because everything in there I own, um, all of the books that I recommend. And so maybe you'll find something in there. So this next purchase was inspired out of necessity. Actually, these next two things were inspired out of necessity. So about a month or so ago, my husband was sick for about a week straight, like really sick, like not get out of the bed kind of situation. And he kept needing me to wait on him. He needed water so often <laughs> that I decided, you know what, I'm gonna buy you a bedside carafe and then that way, when you need water, you at least have an entire pitcher to drink before, you know, you need me to come and, and refill it for you. And I've kind of found that this serves a lot of purpose, not only when you're sick, but I actually keep it in our bathroom now, right next to his pills. That sounds really bad, but his daily medicine. And that way he has a cup to drink out of. Another thing that I like to do with this is I have another one in my kid's bathroom because you know how kids are before bed. They need like six drinks of water. And so this is up there. So they don't have to go downstairs and undo the whole thing. You know what I mean? You know how kids are. And so they have a way to drink water. This is also a great idea for your guest room to put next to your bed, their bedside table or in their bathroom. And that way they have a way to drink water without maybe, you know, wanting to get up in the night or whatever. So this serves a lot of function. They have lots of different styles. This is just the style that I had purchased. There's a more modern one I was actually kind of eyeing up as well, but I kind of liked the vintage quality of this. And I thought that that kind of went with my whole vintage bedroom romantic look. So along those lines, I picked up a couple apothecary jars. Why? Because my husband cannot remember to take his medicine unless it is literally in front of his face. And I did not want to look at orange bottles on my counter. I'm really big on aesthetics. I'm really big on how things look. I don't like clutter. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? There's gotta be a way for me to disguise those, but yet also simultaneously a way to display them that doesn't scream medicine bottle. So I picked up these gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is the larger size. Actually, I think there's like five sizes of these, but this particular one is a, uh, I don't actually know, oh, 250 milliliters. You can put liquids in these. You can use these for spices. You can use them in your kitchen, but I use them upstairs on my vanity. And then this is the 100 milliliter size. And they're also a great way to put like ibuprofens, Advil, stuff that has an ugly packaging that perhaps you want out or you wanna leave out maybe in your guest bedroom in case they might need medicine, but you don't wanna look at the ugly packaging. These are genius and so pretty and what an elevated way to disguise medicine, but yet be incredibly practical. Two more things. First of all, I kind of went on this last, this was last year. So a lot of these things were purchased last year and in my other house. So when you renovate a house, you kind of want to change some things and you want things to coordinate. You want room by room to kind of all have that same feeling. And I got on the luxury soap train and I have to say, I love this packaging. Like the number one reason I bought it was for the packaging because all my other soap dispensers are just that. They are a glass bottle, which I'll link those below as well. But this brand, Aesop, Aesop, I watch Architectural Digest on YouTube and a lot of the celebrity homes or just, you know, like famous people or whatever, they have this soap in their bathroom. And I'm like, huh, I need to try that. It's a little spendy, but it's actually not terrible because I'm the only one who really uses this. I don't put this in my kid's bathroom. I don't have this at my kitchen sink. I have it in my bathroom. So it's mainly my husband and I washing our hands. Uh, there's still well over half of this bottle and I've had this for way over a year. Like it lasts a long time. So this is the resurrection one. They have another one called Oh, I have the other one. Oh, what's it called? It's another R word. I think it's reverence. And that one has little gritty bits in it. That one 
I like the smell of it, but that one's a little bit more earthy. You guys might like it. I'm just saying, I think this might appeal more to the masses, this particular scent. It is Mandarin Rind, Rosemary Leaf, and Cedar Atlas. But this bottle, you guys, is so, so bougie. I just love the label and it matches the aesthetic of my bathroom perfectly. And so I did want to recommend that. They do have a duo on Amazon where you can get the um, hand lotion as well. Okay. And the last item I wanted to share are some hand towels. I love a hand towel. I think linens, between linens in your bedroom and hand towels in your bathroom, that is a great way to really swap out and elevate the whole feel of the room. And I love these. So I bought these in this black and white, I don't know what this pattern would even be deemed. Um, they have the little frills on them and they're just a nice lightweight, I think they come in like a pack of four or six. Nice lightweight towel, they launder up great. I won't show you the back of that one because it has toothpaste on it. Um, but this particular one is more of the beige and cream. These come in lots of different colorways, but I love these. These are, are these, yeah, they're 100% cotton. If you can't tell, I'm really big on things being made well, um, but also able to hold up well, not just look cute. I, I like natural materials. I, I really like a good quality towel because this is one of those things that get washed over and over and over again. In fact, I put this out this morning and it already has toothpaste on it because this was in my kid's bedroom. And so now I have to swap it out, right? And so I buy things that launder well, but also look great. And so that's kind of my mentality for anything is I'm always looking for something that looks great, has a wonderful presentation and is aesthetically appealing, but it also needs to be able to hold up. So I think that's going to do it for my bedroom. I have so many more things to share. Like I said, I wanna show you my kitchen. I wanna show you things in my living room. I have a lot more home decor that I've purchased from Amazon, but I thought we would just start in this space because I think starting with one of the most important bedrooms in your house is a good idea. Elevate your space that you spend a lot of time in, that you retreat to, make your space feel like a spa, make it feel like you want to be there. And so if I can give you any sort of tips, I hope you've found a few things in this video that you know you might be able to incorporate into your space. I love Amazon. Like I said, my storefront is linked below. I hope you guys have nothing short of a fabulous day and we'll chat again soon. Bye guys.